أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته My name is Hassan Sulaiman from CTY Model College Inshallah I'll be taking you English studies for this week But before we commence our class Shall we all give thanks to Almighty Allah For granting us opportunity to see the end of Ramadan 1441 I pray to Almighty Allah to grant all our requests and accept all our good deeds in this noble month. Amen. I pray to Almighty Allah to grant us long life to witness many more Ramadan in our lives as Muslims. Amen. On this note, I say to our dear esteemed parents and my studios JSS1 students, Takobalullahu minna wa minkum. May Allah accept this from you. And me, Amen. Now back to our class. Last week we treated consonant sounds f and v. Consonant f is pronounced by pressing your upper teeth against your lower lip. Consonant f is a voiceless sound. We can find the consonant f in words like photograph, physics enough and many more now to consonant v consonant v is pronounced just like we pronounce consonant f by pressing our upper teeth against our lower lip however consonant v is a voiced consonant what do i mean by voiced consonant it means there is an activity going on in the voice box when we pronounce consonant v we can find consonant v in words like five, live, bill, and many more. Now to our topic of today. Our topic of today is on structure. And the topic is adjectives. Everybody say it. Adjectives. And our reference material for this topic is Nosik for Junior Secondary Schools 1 by Ayobanjo et al. Published by University Press PLC. Pages 131 to 133. Now, can you tell me what you understand by adjectives? Yes, Abdurrahman? Yes, Aisha? Zainab? Fatima? Khadija? Yes, Ali? Anas? MashaAllah, you're all done well. It shows that you can still recollect some of those things you have learned in your primary schools. Alhamdulillah for that. Now, can we define what an adjective is? An adjective is a word that is used to describe a noun or a pronoun. For example, the handsome boy has come, the tall girl has gone. The word handsome and tall in these sentences are adjectives. Now, an adjective gives more information about a noun or a pronoun. It qualifies a noun. She, for example, she is a pretty girl. He is sitting on a comfortable chair. We live in a beautiful house. The child was angry. Dara is intelligent. Therefore, pretty comfortable beautiful angry intelligent are all adjectives and these adjectives have given more information about the nouns or pronouns in these sentences adjectives are mostly placed before nouns that is adjectives usually comes before the nouns in sentences however it is also possible to place an adjective after verbs, such as the forms of the verb to be. The to be is a verb used to describe something or someone. In English, it can be used to say something different according to the context. However, the most common use of the verb to be is to talk about names, age, feeling, nationalities and professions especially when talking in the present tense they are am 
is ah all these are verb to be that is when you have verb to be you have verbs like seems appear look they are all verbs that adjectives can come after for example she is a beautiful girl the word beautiful comes after the verb his the weather looks bright today the adjective bright comes after the verb looks english grammar is interesting the adjective interesting comes after the verb his the fruit appears good the adjective good appears before the verb appears mashallah which means in some instances adjectives can come after verb i hope you all can understand this as i've said now mashallah shall we progress now we now move on to types of adjectives there are many types of adjectives but for this class we are going to look into just five types of adjectives they are descriptive adjectives demonstrative adjectives possessive adjectives interrogative adjectives and finally adjectives of quantity or number now let's move to the first one descriptive adjectives descriptive adjectives are those adjectives used to describe nouns just like you have heard the word describe from the word descriptive for example aisha is a hard-working girl don't be a naughty boy the diligent student got a prize which means hard working naughty diligent are all descriptive adjectives now we'll move on to demonstrative adjectives what are demonstrative adjectives when we say demonstrate that is you point or you show so demonstrative adjectives are adjectives that show or prove something for example that boy is my brother those cars belong to our school these players won the match which means that those and these are all demonstrative adjectives that is there's no way you you are going to say these sentences without demonstrating that that boy you have to point to a particular boy those cars you have to point it to some cars that those cars not any other cars but those cars belong to our school i hope you are there yes we move on to possessive adjectives what we say possessive possessive means from the word possess that is when you own something something that belongs to you so these are used to show ownership that is possessive adjectives are used to show ownership for example my sister is here our teacher is caring he lost his watch that is mine ah oh, his are all possessive adjectives now we we'll move on to interrogative adjectives you must have heard the word interrogate before especially when you are disturbing mommy in the kitchen or daddy you, when you're asking series of questions daddy will say or mommy will say oh abraham don't disturb me don't question me that is don't interrogate so interrogative adjectives are adjectives used to ask questions for example whose bag is this which books have you bought what presents did you buy which means whose which what are all interrogative adjectives now the last but not the least is adjectives of quantity or number this have to do with size figure or number for example much water has passed under the bridge many trees have been uprooted 12 months make one year 
we saw several people in the house, which means much, many, swap, several are all adjectives of quantity or number. Are you up there? I hope you are following. Should I continue? All right. I want to look at arranging adjectives. That is, maybe in your essay writing, you may have cause to use more than one adjective to qualify a noun. A noun. How do you go about this? How do you arrange these adjectives? For example, two fast Japanese girls, many ugly steel gates, a few beautiful paper napkins. In these no phrases above, the adjectives must follow a fixed order. We do not say Japanese fast two cats, or we say paper beautiful a few napkins. The other is this. When you have three or more adjectives to qualify a noun, the first thing you should take cognizance of is the adjective indicating quantity, that is two, many, a few. That is the adjective indicating quantity must come first, followed by the adjective which describes the speaker's feelings towards the noun, that is fast, ugly beautiful and lastly what you must consider when you are arranging three or more adjectives in a sentence is that um, you indicate the noun you, ind you, 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 you indicate what the noun is made of for instance the so-called cars are made from japanese the steel, the gate is made of steel, while the napkins is made of paper. That is, the third thing you should consider in your arrangement is the adjective which indicates what the noun is made of. Japanese, steel, and paper. We can have up to five adjectives qualifying a single noun for example all the many beautiful italian cities where the other described above is still followed but at this stage you are not likely to need more than three adjectives now we'll move on to comparison of adjectives that is adjectives as you know can be compared and there are three degrees of comparison what are the three degrees of comparison in adjective? Can anyone say it? Yes. Ikma. Okay. Positive. Yes. Comparative. Okay. Abdulaziz, can you give us the last one? Masha Allah, superlative. Yes. The three degrees of comparison of adjectives are positive degree. Comparative degree and superlative degree. Now, when do we make use of positive degree? This is used when we are describing an adjective or an object or group of objects that is just one object. When you are describing just one object or a group of objects. For example, heavy load, old man, the boy is tall. We are just talking about a boy. So, or oh, the men are old. The men, the men are old. So we are talking about a group of men. Now, comparative adjective. This is used when we compare two objects or two groups of objects. For example, heavier load older men for example if you want to compare abdul salam and abdullah by saying abdul salam is taller than abdullah or by saying aisha is shorter than fatima so we are only comparing two people two students so you make yourself comparative degree when you are comparing two things or two objects 
as we have in the case of Abdusalam and Abdullah, and in the case of Aisha and Fatima. Now the last one here is superlative degree. We use this when we are comparing more than two objects. For example, in a class of 20 students, we want to pick somebody and we will say, Abdusalam is the tallest boy in the class. That is, among these 20 students, Abdusalam is the tallest. You can say Abdusalam is the taller in the class. And you can say Abdusalam is tall in the class. You can only say Abdusalam is the tallest in the class. Now, let's look at this in a table. We have positive, comparative, and superlative as adding. You can say rich. The comparative will become richer. And the superlative is richest. We have long, longer, longest. Tall, taller, tallest. Bright, brighter, brightest. However, the above is the commonest way of comparing adjectives. That is, all these ones, which, which are richest, long, longer, longest, are the, the most commonest. The commonest way of comparing adjectives. Now, let's look at another one. Good, better, best. Bad, worse, worst. Unlike the previous one, whereby we add er to comparative and we add est to the superlative. However, this one takes an irregular pattern. You, you shouldn't say good, gooda, goodest. No, it is very wrong. You say good, better, best. Bad, worse, worst. Now, we can also have beautiful, more beautiful, most beautiful, interesting, more interesting, most interesting. However, this last part, that is beautiful, more beautiful, most beautiful, this can be used, that is, we can make use of more and most. When the adjectives under positive comprises of words, which are more than one syllable, that is, you can use more and most when the positive form of the adjectives are more than a syllable. To this, we shall look at the summary of this note. From the beginning, we define what an adjective is, citing various examples, the target has come, the tall girl has come. The, 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 the girl is beautiful and many more. She is a pretty girl. All these are examples of adjectives. Then we'll move on to looking at uh, the types of adjectives. From demonstrative adjectives to demonstrative adjectives, descriptive adjectives, possessive adjectives, interrogative adjectives, and adjectives of quantity or number. Now, we we'll look at the arrangement of adjectives, that is, when you have two or three or more adjectives, qualifying just a single noun, how do you arrange it? I told you that if you want to arrange this, the pattern you should follow is, the first thing you should consider is the adjective indicating the quantity, that is, a few, many, several, much, among others. This should be considered first. You consider the adjective indicating the quantity. The next thing you consider after that is the adjective which describes the speaker's feelings towards the noun. That is fast, ugly, beautiful, tall, bright, dark. All these are speaker's feelings towards a particular noun. And the last but not the least is what the noun is made of that is what the noun is made of is the gate made of steel or the car is from japan or the napkins is from paper this should be the third thing after the second one when you are arranging your adjectives then we move on to a comparison of adjectives that is 
positive, comparative, and superlative. Look at some words like which, which are richest, long, longer, longest. Then we'll look at another one, good, better, best, bad, worst, worst. And we'll look at another one known as beautiful, more beautiful, most beautiful. We have interesting, more interesting, most interesting. To this end, I will employ you all, my precious students, to copy this lesson in your notes and proceed to the school portal to access the assignment on these notes. And finally, I say, stay home and stay safe. Wassalamu alaikum. Wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.